Hello everybody and welcome. Today we're gonna speak about the hand crank generator. Huh? How about that? What it is, how we can make one and what it's used for. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to get a once in a lifetime opportunity to join the party too. No catch, no money, no skills required. <laughs> Alright friends, first we're gonna talk about what is a generator. Let me show you first. A generator instead of a motor is again a motor like similar to this one is a motor but instead of consuming power if we're gonna spin it reverse it this one is gonna become a generator this is the main definition of a generator a motor used in reverse but not all the motors are good not all of them they are made to be a generator and that's why we don't have the proper coefficient of uh, energy from any motor but as a rule of thumb any DC synchronous and um, stepper motor or so can become a useful not perfect but useful generators all right now let's jumping into the microwave and I'm going to show you today how we can make a generator out of a microwave oven. All right, the motor used in this microwave order is a synchronous motor, like this one here. This one is 5 watts, 220 volts. So in reverse, we're going to get 240 volts plus actually, and three between 3 and 5 watts. All right, so let's get started. Now we have managed to procure our uh, synchronous motor from the microwave oven. This is the turntable motor. Let's put it to the test to see how many voltage it's going to take. You see, 100 and nearly 200 volts, 224, 240. All right. Now all it needs for us to do is to manage to do some kind of hand crank. And for this one, we're gonna use our 3D pen. All right, so let's get started. All right, first, before we're gonna start making the handle, we're gonna need some measurements. As you can see here, this one has got a crazy shape of the of the motor, yeah? So it's like this, it's half of a circle, and like so. All right, so this is the motor. We're gonna need some kind of measurements. For this one, we're gonna use our thingy. So it's got five mil, like so all right so here from here today is five mil and across six seven and across it's seven mil if you don't have a 3d pen or you have something else these are the measurements five on here and seven on this one all right and to do our handle we're gonna put in in some kind of uh, cardboard and we're gonna do it like so a little bit rough on the bottom with some kind of thing going down and maybe a hole here to attach some kind of handle let's see so this one should be enough or we're gonna make it a little bit longer step is to pay, take a, a piece of cardboard we're gonna insert it onto the top of the our motor like so see and we're gonna start pouring the hot thingy on top you don't have to go all the way through just a little bit to cover the paper on top of the thing like so we're gonna ask
let's test it out to see. <coughs> we got the handle, we got the motor. We're gonna test it now dry to see the voltage, AC voltage in this case. There you go. You see it? Alright. Oh, more than 200. Ah, huh? Oh, that's good. Here you go. 300 easy. 300 easy, folks. Now, if it's got 300 volts AC, let's connect a straight plug. As you can see, there's nothing inside here. This is a 5 watts, 240 unopened, unmodified bulb. We're gonna attach it as it is, straight away. There you go. We're gonna make them permanent later on. Oops. We got our thingy handle. There you go. There you go, let's. Huh? How about that? <laughs> 